Welcome back to Asirat al-Mustaqim series. Today, we will equip you with the tools that you can use to protect yourself from a shaitan al-rajim. So let's start bi Now, alhamdulillah, here is the good news. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, inna kayda shaytani kana da'ifa. All of these plots and strategies and ways of shaitan are very, very weak, alhamdulillah. So how can we counter that? How can a believer protect himself from a shaitan and move on with his life without the effect of shaitan and the control of shaitan over his head? Number one, as we all know, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, when you read it three times, three times, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this is hirz, a protection from a shaitan. But even easier than that, subhanAllah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw someone very angry. His face was very red and like it was blowing, yani expanding. And Rasulullah looked at him and told his companions, I know something, if this man says it, his anger will go away. They said, what is it, Ya Rasulullah? He said, if he says, A'udhu Billahi min shaytan rajim I seek refuge in Allah from the cursed, the casted shaytan. I seek refuge in Allah. Because when you bring the name of Allah, shaytan doesn't stand this chance. The third thing that you should do, that Allah invited us in the Quran that will help you with this idea. If you're trying to read Quran, you, you feel like resentful and like something comes to you, you say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فإذا قرأت القرآن فاستعذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم It's very interesting that before we start reading Quran, we say أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم and if it's the beginning of the surah, we say بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Why there is أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم before reading Quran? It is because shaitan will sit to you and, and, and in your face and try everything for you not to read Quran. And if you read it to not understand it, and if you understand it to not apply it, he hates the Quran because it's the guidance and it is as-siratul mustaqim. The next is to read Surah Al-Baqarah, especially in a house. The Prophet Sallallahu said, if Surah Al-Baqarah is recited in a house within three days, shaitan will not enter that house. So Alhamdulillah, that's a protection for our homes and our families. You know, you read it loud with your voice if you know how to read Arabic. If you don't know, that's when you run Surah Al-Baqarah in the background, inshaAllah, Rabbil Alameen. The fifth protection from a shaitan al-rajim is to actually make wudu. Oh my God, that's so powerful. Making wudu and prayers. Wudu is water. Shaitan, Allah created him from fire. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Shaitan runs where the blood runs and he heats the blood. You feel your blood is boiling. You become angry. You start sweating. You feel the heat. The best thing is to take a wudu. And even if it's a family feud, I would actually recommend to even take a shower and then to follow it with praying two rak'ah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sixth protection from shaitan is to recite ayat al-kursi. Subhanallah, there's a beautiful hadith, whosoever reads ayat al-kursi after every salah maktubah, yani fajr al-dhuhr, asr, maghrib, isha, there is nothing between him and jannah, heaven, except death. If he dies, the person goes to jannah. What a powerful ayah in al-Quran al-Kareem. The seventh protection from al-shaytan al-rajim is to increase your dhikr, do adhkar al-sabah, adhkar al-masa, adhkar after salah. Every time you're driving, you're walking, increase your dhikr, it will block the shaytan, connect you with ar-Rahman subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having said all of that, don't forget that if we have one shaytan that is trying to do waswas and being qareen for us, remember we have so many angels. In one hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa tells us that we're surrounded by 10 angels and these 10 agents take shifts. They come at Fajr and at Asr and they change shift. So don't feel weak in front of shaitan and don't use shaitan as an excuse for every wrong thing you do in your life. That's why we say, A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajeem. We take responsibility for our actions. We repent. We ask for Allah's forgiveness. And may Allah Azza wa Jal help us in this month of Ramadan and after the month of Ramadan to overcome shaitan and to push him out of our lives 
آمين يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد